Friday. Don't get scammed in the comments, guys. I do not give my n number down below in the comments. So if you have somebody that looks like me saying that you won something or gifts or something stupid along that line, it is not me. Do not fall for it. Now let's get right into the video. This video was brought to you by the fine folks at Spider Farmer, guys. They make all these videos possible. So if I want to thank you guys personally, everybody that's been using my code, there's been quite a bit. So green magic, one word, works on Amazon now too, apparently, guys. Thank you so much. You guys are such a blessing. Everything I'm affiliated will be in affiliated everything i'm affiliated <laughs> everything i'm affiliated with will be in the first pinned comment guys right directly below you can pin a comment and we're 48 members strong guys 48 members wow man like i've had people asking me for so long when am i going to turn on memberships when am i going to make a patreon like i didn't think that many people would uh want to support like that man you guys are a blessing oh my god thank you so much to everybody that's gotten a membership like each new member i get guys it takes off of that much more stress off of me man and it's just i don't even know what to think about it you guys are just so amazing man so freaking amazing so yes if you'd like to support memberships are on there's 99 cents for as little as 99 cents guys and i'm coming up with all kinds of perks there's going to be lots of stuff in the future i see your comments first um it's just cool it's pretty freaking cool stuff guys we can have member only lives um, I can make it so members, like your your um, messages show up right away on uh, the live streams. And the top membership for $14.99 American or $20 Canadian, I believe, is Billionaire Botanist. You can join the Billionaire Botanist Clubs guy. <laughs> Club guy. <laughs> what am I talking about? You can join the Billionaire Botanist. Thank you to the hater that gave me that name. That's uh, that's how that name came, guys. Somebody said that if my grow, if my grows are actually real, then I would be a billionaire botanist. Apparently, I fake my grows. Like, who would have thought, eh? So all of that will be first pin comment, guys, or the description. Now, moving on from that stuff, what are we doing, guys? It's a brand new series. We're filling out the four by four. The whole four by four with one giant plant. And you're about to, you're about to see all that. We got day one to 31 guys. I apologize. I don't have the first 10 days of planting the seed. I lost it somehow. I don't know how still uh, blows my mind how I lose these files, but um, it's pretty basic stuff guys. All you do is, you know, you guys seen the, seen many of my seedling videos, like planting seedlings. So you just put it down. I plant directly into the soil. I don't, um, I don't do all the freaking germinating and all that guys. Make sure your soil's dampened so you don't lose the seed. Make sure the soil's wet ahead of time. Pointy side down. I like to do just a little bit under and boom, she'll come up. And if it gets stuck with the seedling on it, the shell on it, you got to be careful and take that shell off in the main brain. Make sure the leaves open up. So now I will show you guys what all, um, so we're going to be going from, you'll see it all the way up until day 31, right? But as soon as I get the plants out of the 4x4 four four and it's all trimmed up and we have the tent ready, we're going into this, guys, 15 gallon. We got our, oh, I don't want to make a mess here. It's got a hole in it. I got my uh, hole in basics, um, perlite. Gonna probably put that whole freaking thing of worm castings in. And then, well, you guys just seen, you've seen all the B-roll, right? That's everything in the B-roll that we're gonna be using in this grow. It's gonna be epic. You're gonna wanna follow this one, guys. Man, wait till you see how beautiful the plant is. I freaking love you guys. Enjoy the video. Yeah, I'm just trying to think where we're gonna, where we're gonna keep it the whole time. But I'm trying to kind of perpetually grow, right? So then when that one's done, I'm not starting a seed off and then it takes forever. I like to have content ready to go for you guys too. And this just works out awesome like this. So so 10 days, she just got water yesterday. I think she's good for today. I might top her up a bit, but um, we'll be back when I feed her and when we figure out some more. Okay, guys. We are at day 14 now for the nanas. Day 14, two weeks. We're gonna have to get it. I'm still waiting for the big pot. We can't put it in the big pot yet. So I'm just gonna hit her with some plain water. 
Uh, I'm surprised it's not hungry yet. And tomorrow, I think we're gonna get her into a one gallon, just one of those small pots on day 15, that'll be. And we'll go from there. And once these other ones are done in a two weeks time and out of there, we will be putting this into a 15 gallon and we're gonna veg it out massive. We're gonna fill the whole four by four, guys. So yeah, she's just gonna get some water today, just till runoff pretty much, like just before runoff. And if a little comes out the bottom, it's fine. But there she is at day 14, not looking the greatest because she's really dehydrated. But that's okay, she's gonna be a beauty, you watch. All right guys, we're back with the very next day. Like I told you, I would be back. We had to transplant this Nana's. Get, uh, she needs, um, what, two, three weeks, maybe tops, uh, until that tent's empty. And then look at, 40 bucks for that freaking saucer. And then, I don't even know how, I think these were 35 for five of them or something. So yeah, I'm glad I went with the 15, guys. It's like not, it's, I thought it would be a little bit bigger than that, to be honest. So that's perfect. That works out nice. And I probably won't fill it right up, right? I'll probably leave it down to there. But uh, you wait till you see the mix we do with that one, guys. It's going to be epic, man. We're going to probably go, well, we're going to go a shit ton of worm castings. We're going to go the TNB, um, kelp, all that good stuff, guys. We're going to kill it. Just kill it. So I got Black Swallow right there. For you that don't know, check that out. It's a living soil. It is top notch stuff. Has all that in it. I figured I'll use that, but we're gonna go with Pro Mix for the big plant. But this has a bunch of nutrients built in and it'll be, it'll get us through the next three weeks probably until it goes into the big pot. So I think it's perfect. I have pH water 6.5. Since this is soil, we can go closer to 6.5, guys. And, uh, yeah, we can even turkey baster it. It's first watering since we transplanted it in. And, you know, I'm not worried about overwatering. Even if you flood this thing like mad, it's not going to overwater it. So we're gonna give it a nice head soaking and it's gonna go back in under the SE 5000 where it was till the other tent's ready. A little hydrophobic right now. So it gets uh, watered once and then first watering always wants to be a little hydrophobic like that I'm gonna put one more and that should be enough I think we're good there guys oh yeah she's nice and happy too implementing the tripod guys she's gonna go right here I'll even get you a power number and a measurement 250 at the top of the little canopy, guys. I think that's pretty, pretty good. And that's all the way at 56 inches, guys. 56 inches. The light is at 60%, guys. So, day 15. There you have it. Hello, my friends. We're back at day 19. All right. We're not going to give any water today. I did top her up once more off the video. I, I, I give her a nice drench again. So she should be good, but we are gonna top this girl. I, my tripod's broken. So, or I would put you guys on my tripod. Well, I guess I have my other one, but you guys should be able to see this just fine. And you see that? This is the perfect time to do it. That whole thing right there. Watch this, guys. Take it with your fingers. Watch. Bam. See that? She looked just like that, minus the hair. <laughs> you see? Now in between those hair looking things, two are gonna come out, guys. Day 19, we're still waiting for the big tent to be open. 
it's gonna be another two weeks anyways, I think, guys. So she'll just make it in this and then bang, into the 15 gallon pot. And we're gonna grow her out huge. We're gonna trellis, we're gonna top. You guys are gonna see it all, man. Wow, guys, day 22. Look at that, look at that. Oh yes, we have success. Like I told you guys, try that when topping, it works great. I think we picked the perfect plant here for the uh, the giant 4x4 grow. She's going into a 15 gallon, guys. We're gonna mix it up a real, a real good mix for this girl. She needs water now. I haven't done nothing since the topping, guys, since that day. I haven't done a thing. So we got some water pH at 6.4, dechlorinated, all that good stuff. You guys know how we roll in green magic. We roll in the magical corner. So yeah, we're good to go, guys. This is just normal tap water. Then I bubble, oh, with a paw fly. I haven't showed that in a long time. It's about, you know, $50 Canadian on uh, Amazon. You can find it's a good one. We'll bubble four buckets. I even have a spare under there, guys. I think I'll do a deep water culture um, with one of these eventually with that one and get both them bubbling like that on high. Watch this, I'll put it on high. Boom. Look at that bubble action. Holy <laughs> man. Now picture with the net pot and um, a bunch of clay pebbles in it and a giant plant coming out, guys. I think I could kill it. I did it with the, um, the grow away system. I killed it with that. One of the best grows done with it out of all the channels. I think I did the best job, to be honest, because everyone else had all their roots coming out the bottom and had to do a whole bunch of work cleaning it out. Mine, there was no roots out the bottom. You guys remember how I forced out the water and it got the supercharged air under there and it just did such a good job. But anyways, let's turn that back down to low and we're good to go. Grab a leader, head in and feed her. She's still living on the black swallow, guys. So really good, um, really good stuff. So we're gonna give her a good, uh, good soaking. Oh, maybe that's a little too much. We're doing the whole works on this, guys. I wanna get her to stretch up a little more. She's really short and stout. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna train her, topping her probably. When these two grow out, we'll top those. And that might be it. I wanna try to grow some monster buds. And you got to keep in mind, every time you top it, you're splitting up all that energy, right? So in my opinion, every time you top it, you're going to get twice as small of buds, guys, because there's that many more branches. Now, the less branches, the bigger the buds are going to get, right? Now, keep that in mind. There's got to be a happy medium. So I've went, I've went totally crazy with it. And if you guys look back at one of... Um, my old videos, like three years ago, it was one of the most viewed videos and it has the best canopy you'll ever see. I topped it like a hundred times and it just grew like a hundred little skinny buds, but it looked amazing. It was a good yield, but yeah, you want a happy medium. All right, that's absorbed in. Drinking my Tim Hortons Keurig coffee. Gotta love that liquid power. Would you like to try some? Just kidding. You guys didn't think I would actually do it, did you? Imagine I did and it actually grew massive. All right, a little bit came out the bottom after that one, but it's not, I think it's just because it was a little hydrophobic. It's, it could actually take more, but that's good, guys. That's all we're gonna give her. So about a little over half a liter. She's gonna go back in here under the SC. Until uh, we got about another two weeks, guys. Close to that, she's got to stay in this. And then she goes into the 15 gallon. 240 par around that, 230, 240 at the top. I'm surprised she's not stretching up more, guys. Wow. Well, that will be it, guys. Whoa, day 25, guys. Look at that sucker. She's a beauty, guys. A25, she looks perfect. She needs some water. We're gonna get rid of these bottom ones under here. See these ones? We're gonna get rid of that, guys. Pull that off. I know I've had a few complaints of people, oh, my camera. 
The camera hurts my eyeballs. My poor eyeballs, I can't focus. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> sorry guys, it's hard. It is hard, I know. I am sometimes I'm all over the place with the camera. Personally, I don't mind watching videos like that. A lot of channels, a lot of big channels even are like that. I was surprised, but uh, yeah, it doesn't hurt my eyes to focus on it, but I understand, you know, I'm not everybody. So, you know, everybody's different and a lot of older people watch. And so I apologize. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to get more steady with the camera, guys. It's hard to use a tripod in here. For one, this thing, it takes, I have to unclip each one of these and stand each leg up. Um, I need one that just goes boom up real quick. I had one that does that pretty much and it just broke. So I have to get another one, but I'm just messing around with you guys. Don't take everything I say, it's all serious. But there you go, we got rid of the bottoms. Let me get rid of that. You know what? That, I can go too, they're so small. We're gonna get rid of them later on anyways. You know we're gonna, so might as well get rid of them now. That's perfect. Now she'll recover just great from that. Now we're in the magical corner, guys. We might as well and get the magical light on. Why is it not working again? What, a juice already? What the frick? Oh, there we go. So I bought this pH up and down, guys, and it's because it looked all fancy and it was a little bit more expensive. I like that it said professional buffering for pH stability. Garbage. What what total trash. Man, for one, it took like 10 of these to even get it to where it's supposed to be. And then it just kept not stabilizing. That's for sure. So we're back to our old phosphorique. We're going to go five speckles. I just calibrated this thing. So one, two, three, four, five. On the end. The beating stick. You know, let's remove some of this stuff over here. I don't need all that stuff. It'll stir itself, but uh, I prefer doing this. Making a mess, you know. <laughs> I don't know how it dropped that all the way down to 5.4. That's freaking... Oh, there it goes. We'll give it a few minutes and it should come back up to... Oh, and it's soil too. So, you know what? I'm going to add some of this back in. I got to keep that in mind with some of these grows their soil. Their uh, black swallow living soil. Which that plant will be going into. You know what I'm going to do, guys? We're going to make it interesting. So when we do it, I have about three quarters of a bag of black swallow, about five gallons. We're going to go five gallons of it, 10 gallons of pro mix, and then we're going to mix it all up nice. So we're going to get the best of both worlds. So we'll throw a, a couple get liters in here. It should help it. Well, I got a tad left of this stuff, so might as well use it, right? Man, I thought there was more than that in it. Hmm. Well, we're at 6.4. I'll give it a few minutes to stabilize, and it should be perfect, guys. I guess we could take the plants off of this turntable, right? <laughs> cool, neat little thing I found on Amazon, too. Help you make your content a little bit better. See, I'm, I'm getting this area done, guys. I got all the mold cleaned out. It's because that's an outside wall. It has nothing to do with the plants. Like, that, when it freezes outside, it condensates in here, right? It only does it in right, right there at the corner. So, this is all good to go. I bleached the crap out of that. It's all, like, waterlogged. This, it's gotten so wet from, like... I, I researched, and this place was built like, oh my god, guys, so, so back, and this place is all original in here, so they didn't use, um, bear, um, it's weather barrier, some crap that it's called in there, and it's, that's why it does it, it used to do it up in there, until I was forced to leave the window open, but we're, we're good, we're all good in here now. But yeah, so what I'm what I'm doing is this is gonna go back over there. There we go, just like that, guys. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna get this all nice in here. I'm gonna get a gaming chair. I want one that's lower. It's gonna sit right here. And I'm gonna get a nice table in front, right? With the sure mic up here. So my head will be right down around here, right? The mic boom can come down. We can have a mic that's actually wired in. 
And I'll have the camera over here on the tripod pointing at the table. We could do all of our work on plants there, do the lives. I'm going to get all this crap out of here, get some nice stuff set up, some nice lights, posters, advertisements. Life is great. Because of you fine folks, enough rambling on now. We're at 6.5, guys. Exactly perfect. Get a liter, head in and feed her. So we still got about two weeks, guys, before this girl's going to be able to go in her home. So I hope I can keep her happy for two more weeks in this. And I'm just going to cover the whole top like that. And let it soak in. All right, that's not nearly enough. We're going to do that again. And let it soak in. Uh, maybe one more time like that now. Not quite that much, though, but we don't want to go to runoff. It's not synthetics, right? Perfect, guys. And get used to feeling the weight, like I say. Ah, we could even go a little bit more. I want to give her a nice, good drink. You're not going to overwater at this point. If a bit comes out the bottom, it's not the end of the world, my friends. Don't cry and go die. The plant will live to see another day. And where I come up with this shit, I have no clue. And it's time to move you. There we go. What a beautiful plant, guys. This is a perfect plant for the 4x4 four four giant plant. Now she can go back in her corner under the SE 5000. Yeah, we got a little bit come out the bottom. She'll soak that up, though. That's okay. She's perfect. Good to go. Day 29 for this girl. Yeah, four days later. Look at that. Isn't she a beauty, guys? Look at the two tops. So we're gonna start training the two tops over with the bud clips when they're long, when they're uh, grown out enough, right? We're almost there, guys, we're almost there. And she needs to be watered today. We haven't given her any water. I'm gonna get rid of that leaf. I like this little turntable. What do you guys, what do you guys think? Look at, she's still right dark. That's really dark. So that soil is providing plenty of enough nutrients for her. And we got about a week, guys, a little over a week, and we'll be able to put her into the 15 gallon. We're gonna make up the sickest mix ever. Man, I think we picked the right plant. So I have some dechlorinated, pH at 6.1, stable. Um, I would have preferred it, preferred it. <laughs> Facts on my mind, eh? I would have preferred it to be a little bit, uh, a little bit higher, but I'm not gonna go messing with it now. It's nice and stable, so yeah, we're good to go. And I think I might back off the par a little bit on this. She's not stretching out at all. Like we do need her to grow up a little bit. So yeah, she'll get about one full liter right out of there. So let's grab a liter and head in and feed her. But actually, not a full liter. What am I talking about? I get like a half of one. You know what, screw, let's use this thing to water with too. <laughs> this is hilarious. Ruby's automatic turntable watering system. <laughs> oh man, what will I think of next, guys? I love doing like these kind of crazy different grows. Like, if I'm always trying to think of something different, you know. Like, it's all the other channels. It's just the same thing over and over and over, right? That's why I love these gimmick type novelty grows. All right, don't want to get the turntable all wet. As anybody's wondering, it's just a cheap little thing off of Amazon. If uh, anyone that has a channel that is wondering, they could use one. Just gonna cover the whole top. And like I said, get used to feeling the weight. It's like, it's gotta be a little heavier than that when it's fully saturated. All right, I give it a minute and I'm gonna do that once more. So it's not even gonna get quite a half a liter. Well, actually, you know what? Right on about a half a liter. And yeah, she is fully saturated, 100% penetrated. Day 29. 
Well, here we are, day 31. She's so thirsty, guys. She's bone freaking dry. Look at how dark she is, too. Now, all it is is that living soil. So, yeah, we just got about another maybe seven days tops, guys, to keep her happy in this, and then she's going into that. I can't wait. This is going to be the biggest plant I've ever done. Look at the stock on it already, guys. It's about a pencil, maybe a little thicker than a pencil. Imagine how big it's going to be when we get into this big pot. So I already have some that's dechlorinated, bubbled all that jazz from last night, and it's been stable at 6.3. Good enough for me. All right, so we got our leader. We're not going to need the whole thing, but I'm going to give this plant as much as it can possibly take because it's drying out really quick. So what I do is I cover the top and then I'll just give it a minute. Oh, and I wanna know something too, guys. Okay, now people are, one guy told me it's impossible to take 1080 footage and turn it into 4K in the editor, right? Now I took a video, it was like three gigs and I put, I clicked to turn it into 4K. It says to, up, to download or upload, I can't remember, in 4K or 1080 and I hit 4K. It made a three gig video into like 17 gigs, but I can't so much tell a difference. Like if um, the last video, the seed to harvest video is actually in 4K. I want you guys to comment below. Am I wasting my time? Is it just making the video bigger and not even turning it into 4K? Because like my internet's so slow too, so it's really hard to tell. But I want your guys' opinion. Like, is that, uh, is that BS or can you actually do that? Because like this phone, guys, it's all, it's a gig, right? It's or a full terabyte, so that's a thousand gigabytes. Now, I've already got 750 gigs in this phone, 250 gigs left. That's what I mean, to go 4K, it's really hard and I don't wanna complicate things even more. So, but if I can just film in 1080 and then convert into 4K in the editor, then why not, right? So let me know, is this video actually in 4K, guys? And the haters, holy crap, if you ain't here to bring modification, educate, motivate, or anything, get lost, man. Like, how do I have full-grown men on here talking smack and attacking me? Like, it's unbelievable. How do you think your life is going to go well if you are negative going on people's channels and being negative like that you're not your life's not going to get better so if you uh have a shitty life and want to take it out on me be my guest guys but i'm just gonna keep blocking you tools so anyone that's gonna comment some dumb stuff freaking save it man like damn guys it's not my fault you were born with an undersized penis like a uh, below average size penis you know that's not my fault like why why do you guys freaking take it out on me the bigger i get and i see even people that have been commenting for years start to turn on you they literally get jealous and start to turn on you like man it's it's pretty uh, I, I don't get it i don't get it like bloom cycle guys been commenting for a year and then he starts attacking me calling me on the fight and stuff like saying he's a one percenter, you just you're gonna deal with the one percenters. <laughs> oh my god, dude, get a life, man! If you leave a stupid comment, you'll get a stupid reply, guys. That's it. You'll get one reply, and then you'll go to my block list after that. There we go. We got a bit of runoff. She's totally saturated, one hundred percent penetrated. Freaking love you guys. I am signing off. You guys be safe out there this weekend. Be sure to come for the live tomorrow doing a giveaway. Love you guys. Until next time. And remember, tell the haters and tell the scammers this.